starts well. This is game number one between Hungry Box. Oh, it's just a button warmer. Now we're getting started for real. Game number one between Liquid's own Hungry Box repping the Jigglypuff and Arizona's Cloudburst repping the Squirtle. They're getting started on Startsville. And this is definitely a very interesting matchup. If there's two people on the planet that know this matchup very well, it would be Dirt Boy and Soul Patch, two players who have played each other very much. And I know a little bit about it because of that. The way Dirt Boy likes to play this matchup is just balls out aggression. Constantly putting out hitboxes makes it very difficult for Jigglypuff to get her weave on. And of course, Crouch Attack, yeah, as you see Carver's doing here, Crouch Attack to Up Smash honestly could probably kill at this percent, but he messes up with an early recovery, so Hbox will take that first stock. And he looks for down tilt Aqua Jet, but already Jigglypuff had too high a percent for that to connect. And he just goes in with up smash, and yes, it does kill basically a fox up smash from melee. Cloudburst even trying to put on the sunglasses, and he gets them. Cloudburst right now playing this matchup very solidly, forcing Hungrybox to be very careful with his approaches because right now Cloudburst is crouch canceling everything and Cloudburst actually messes up again! This is his second SD, he's lost two stocks at very low percent. The nerves definitely seeming to get to him right now and a rest on the platform for Hungrybox! Cloudburst has an up smash chance, instead goes for Aqua Jet. It's two stocks to one due to all these SDs from Cloudburst. They're back into this neutral game. Oh, Hungerbox starting to adapt to Cloudburst movement, and he reads the roll. Goodbye, Cloudburst. Great rest by Hungerbox as he takes game number one with a two stop. Dude, Google it. All right, game number two. They have decided to counterpick two Pokemon Stadium two. It's definitely a stage a lot of Squirtle players I know love this this map. And now Cloudburst, if he wants to win this set, really needs to stop panicking. Honestly, he's only really losing due to his panic options, and Hungry Boss is just doing the top player thing and exploiting that very well. Nice up smash out of shield from Hungry Box. Cloudburst continuing to put out those hitboxes using Bubble and Water Gun to just keep Jigglypuff out. He gets the crouch attack to up smash, but unfortunately gets the weak hitbox, and now he's definitely fishing for it. Gets him again. Still a mediocre hitbox there, but I think one more would absolutely do it. And he, oh, the fish, the fishing is real. He gets him with, uh, I believe that was up tilt to up air, and we'll take it. Squirtle kills so early against this character. <laughs> Jigglypuff showing her down air is better than Squirtle's down air. As she connects it a couple times and gets that finishing kill. It's even three stocks this time. And I'm actually proud that Clubber hasn't SD'd yet like he has in game one. Oh, that actually could have been a rest, I think. The weak nair to rest. Of course, very common rest setup against light character floaties. And he looks for the down tilt to Ju Chain's combo. Doesn't get it. Hungrybox has been doing a great job with his uh his punishes. Cloudburst actually reading the roll but missing the Aqua Jet. Power shielded water gun, but he gets down tilt to up air, and that'll do it. So many ways Squirtle can kill early in this matchup. Jigglypuff has to be very careful about her movement. Cloudburst <laughs> rolling four times. So much panic, but hey, it's working. Nice Nair. Figuring out that Nair will actually beat the side beat. Gets down here to up smash again. Back to dead, even two stocks. Cloudburst desperately looking away to break through this wall that Hungrybox is putting up so well. 
And Hungry Box using those platforms, dodging that up smash. He's just baiting Cloudburst in over and over. And Cloudburst is... It looks like he's starting to get frustrated because he's going in way too hard. But he just goes in with up smash and almost kills... Oh my goodness, does that kill early on Jigglypuff. It's actually stupid. Cloudburst now taking his time. He's back to playing more patient. That's exactly what he needs. He misses the ledge, but he does sweet spot it, so no rest attempt from Hungrybox. Oh my god, these two fishing so hard for this kill. And they know their hitboxes are so big that, you know, they just get a random hit and it works. Cloudburst looking to combo out of Water Gun. Gets a down throw for it, but it's not enough. Not at this percent. Nice up smash out of shield to beat the water gun. Hungry Box definitely starting to get the download. Learning the character as he goes. We have the F throw, but no follow up. Good stuff. So Hungry Box knows about the DI mix up. And down air to up smash is enough to take the stock. Hungry Box now with the stock lead for the first time this game. Hungry Box just camping the ledge, not willing to come anywhere close to that up smash because he knows it'll kill, but it doesn't matter. The water gun connects. And Cloudburst has made it in even one stock. It all comes down to this. Can Cloudburst take this to game three? Or will Hungrybox be making it out of pools and onto winner's finals? Cloudburst doing some great spacing with the water gun, with the bubble, but Hungrybox doing the exact same thing with back air. And both of these guys are really struggling to find their own ways in. Just goes in all the way with side B. And bubble from the ledge, Cloudburst's best friend today. Oh, I don't know about that, that up tilt to up smash. But he does have him at possible up smash kill percent. He just needs to hit him one more time. That could- Oh wow! The smash the eye! No! Oh, I thought he was dead! That was such a risky maneuver! I thought Hungrybox was gonna come back down and rest him! Cloudburst has a chance to take this to game three against Hungrybox, a melee legend! He is playing so safe! He needs to be careful! Can he get the up air? No, not enough! Cloudburst taking his time, Hungrybox taking his time. Both of these guys need to be very safe. One down air up smash from Hungrybox and it is all over for Cloudburst. He accidentally wall jumps, but the F smash misses. Cloudburst still living. Good bubble from Cloudburst. He is just trying to get us some confirmed by a read from Hungrybox. It's not enough. 114%. One solid hit from Hungrybox and it's over. Another up smash out of shield does not connect. Cloudburst in dire straits right now. But the up smash connects, that's it! We're going to game three! No. Instant no contest! Cloudburst, Ooh, what a clutch finish! And he still has the chance to do this, but... It is very, very scary. As you can tell, Hungrybox is absolutely starting to adapt to this matchup. I don't know about going to FD as a counter pick for Hungrybox. Because this, I, I mean... Platforms, I guess, weren't working for either of them, so we'll see what happens. And, and just like game one, Cloudburst can't get rested, can't get, uh, can't SD, and he stands a chance to take it over Hungrybox in this matchup. Cloudburst connecting with an early up smash. Oh, this could be big! He gets him! Down to up air two chains! Cloudburst takes a huge percent deficit and takes the first stock. Glasses are broken. Connects with the up B. He's safe. Hungrybox desperately looking for a way to end this stock early, but Cloudburst is saying no way, sir. He's playing so well all of a sudden. Not at all like game one, but he was just panicking all over the place. And he gets him water gun to up smash, continuing to just stick with his bread and butter's combos. Nothing crazy. He's getting bubbles, he's getting water guns, he's just playing smart right now. Hungrybox really struggling to find a way through this crazy transcendent projectile game. He found something there. If he eats a water gun, he can beat out the follow-up. So Cloudburst has to be really careful about doing those water guns too high. Nice. 
nice recovery from Cloudburst, noticing Hungrybox going low. And Hungrybox really struggling to find this kill. He's looking for maybe a down air or an up smash. There it is right there, looking for down air up smash. Cloudburst rolls away immediately. And it looks like he's figured out that the only way Hungrybox has been getting kills are from easy rest confirms or from that down air to up smash combo. So as long as he avoids that down air, he'll be fine. But he needs to avoid those back airs at high percent as he does lose that stock finally. But honestly, Jigglypuff is that kill percent. He misses the Aqua Jet, but up smash! is enough at 60% Cloudless with a full stock lead in game three. This is insane right now. Right now, they're just continuing to feel each other out in neutral. The glasses are broken yet again. Oh, he has an edge guard opportunity, but an instant jump from Cloudburst. He has no jump, but he recovers high, so he is safe. And it looked like Hungrybox was actually expecting the recovery on stage so he could rest it. But Cloudburst just not able to, uh, or Cloudburst doing it a little early. Can Hungrybox still take this game? Absolutely, he can. He just needs to hit a rest or a good edge guard. He gets up there, but no rest confirm on the landing. Well, the down air up smash does connect, so it's now an even game. He's been taking little hits here and there, and that's enough. That's all Hungrybox needs. Cowboys needs to continue playing safe. Like you said earlier, he, he's got to avoid the down air, the up smashes, the rest of firms, everything really. Ooh, he goes really low. That could be a rest. It is. He messed up his uh, edge guard there because uh, Hungrybox had some good DI and he doesn't even get a rest follow up. So Cloudburst box has to lead. And another rest, that'll do it! Hungrybox with an incredibly clutch finish. Taking it two stocks and his big sigh of relief as he walks away. This is winner semis, right? So Hungrybox yeah. moves on to the Hungrybox got out of the bracket, just like that. We'll make it out.